primary key constraint so a primary key uniquely identifies each row in a table it cannot accept null and duplicate data means the records that we insert in any primary key column should be unique and it cannot be null right so one or more columns of a table can contain in a primary key so primary key you can define as a combination of columns right so you can add two three columns into a prime as a primary key but you need to make sure the combination of those three column values are always unique and you cannot insert null in any of those columns right so again there are two ways to define a primary key in a table we can define it while creating a table in the ddl command or else you can do it using a alter table syntax is again same alter table table name add constraint constraint name constraint name is again optional but a primary key and this idd column iid column is used here but you can give a comma and add multiple columns on which you want to create a primary key column but we need to keep it in mind in for one table there can be only one primary key so few things to keep in mind each table can have only one pr primary key so the second is cannot store null values third values in each row should be unique so essentially what is primary key if you see it this way primary key equal to uniqueness not null unique key plus not null not null but when you combine these two constraints constraints you get the primary key constraint let's see an example of the primary key so we'll take the same table structure so let's stream it employees pk this time i'm going to re remove this not null constraint and i will create this as primary key employee id um no employee id let's keep it as not null i will introduce one more column city no no fine employee id only we will keep it as primary key not to get confused primary key so essentially primary key we define on those columns which will be unique identifier for each of the table for example for employees the employee id will be unique identifier for each employees so no two employees can have the same employee id right so that's the reason any id columns in the table we make it as our first preference to create a, create as a primary key so let's create this but if i create this table i will get an error saying like this unique name constraint yeah. exist i'll make it underscore one i will get an error this exist make it underscore two and make it underscore three so if i run this this is fine so let's copy the contents what to insert so insert statement employees primary key ideal scenario everything is fine it will get inserted next scenario so let's say ram came and we are trying to insert ram's value in this table right but we are giving him the same employee id it should not work because we have a primary key constraint there and let's see the error one more time it says violation of primary key constraint pk employee so if you see for all the other constraints we did not get any such default name right why did we get this default name because we could did not specify any name here right till now we were defining this names for example this gender default to unique name one right so since we did not def define any constraint name here so when we are trying to insert the database already gave this primary key constraint a name by its by default which is a unique name so it gave it gave the name as pk underscore employee underscore this some numbers right and we cannot insert duplicate values because it violates the primary key condition so and if i make it null also right 
it will not allow us to insert null. It says cannot insert the value null into the column employee ID because primary key column does not allow nulls. Insert fails, right? But if it had been in a unique key column, this would have succeeded, right? Because unique key will allow null. Primary key will not allow nulls. Null. Right. So clear on this how primary key works. 